What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Growth Family Network. And today we want to show you with the humidity and everything back here, we've been getting, I don't know, we haven't been able to get back here as much with the rain and the ground is soaked. But with the humidity, we're getting like a mealybug infestation for the last two weeks or so. And this is what I do. I don't really get, with pests, I don't really get overly, um, like years ago, as soon as I saw something on my plant, I had to go find out what it was. I had to find out what I can get to put on it. Um, but now I don't rush as much to kind of see what the plant is going to do with the pest. And then sometimes for the most part, um, since I don't water my leaves as much, I try to keep down on the mold and stuff by just watering just the ground. And I try to never water the leaves. But in an instance like this, where if you can see these little uh, mealybug looking things are everywhere. And it's not killing, killing the plant, but it's gonna suck the life out like a, I don't know, I would call it a, a slow death. Um, so, just, you can see them all around. If you're going up. And they're just all over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this a hose you're not going to put it on like you know you don't want to use this all right so you don't want to use like your little soft shower type heads that's not going to really get them off the full one is not as good either the one that i've seen is the best to use is just go straight to your straight to your jet settings and that way it's not as strong as that full setting that full setting is like just a lot of water. The jet setting is such a small stream, but it's a strong stream that you can really hit them. So if I hit right there, you can see that I'm not knocking off if you can get closer. I'm not gonna knock the leaves off. But you can see how we've already just eliminated the problem. Now, you might be knocking it onto other stuff, but we got a lot of weeds around here that we got to get. So by us knocking it on the ground, it doesn't matter to me as long as it, as long as they don't stay and feed on the plant. Now. The reason why this is like this is because this is an indeterminate tomato. But I said when I started this season, this was all the trellis or support I was going to give this tomato. I wasn't going to do all that staking this year. So however high it got and fell over, that's what it's going to do. And, and that's what it actually has done. Haven't been even fertilizing this one much. And you can see we got a, got a good little crop. Now you might not get all of the bugs off, but you can think if you get getting... A majority of these things off of here. Then you can take off some of this. These just old. Kind of clean the plant up. I don't have any snips out here with that one. Now, them just went in my mouth. <laughs> this one, <laughs> you could just, you probably say, stop talking so much. I just spray that off. Water that down. You might get a new plant out of that. Those seeds go down. If you look and you'll be surprised. But basically, water. The majority of the majority of all your pest problems, you can solve them with water, especially on the jet set and with a strong burst. Um, what you have to do is just go ahead on and just hit everything around it, just in case you've gotten some. I mean, it's infestation, so they're actually going to all the plants. <laughs> so we basically just walk and try to try to get everything and move it around a little fast. So you don't want to just you don't want to just uh, smash your plant over, right? You just want to kind of move it around. So you get them all.
Next one. <laughs> one more left. One more left. Now, after that, what I would tell you to do is to try to do some prevention. What we have in here is a little citrus oil and some neem oil. Uh, so you can actually, after you let this dry a little bit, I will come back and now you're going to start doing your preventative uh, treatment. Since you wasn't doing it before like me, since you kind of passed on, you just come out and you just... Come with your neem oil, little citrus oil. Like I said, I like to mix my homemade citrus oil, just citrus and vegetable oil, citrus peels and vegetable oil. And some neem oil, mix it up. I don't measure, mix it up and put it in a bottle and spray it. So you can see how this one is. This one is really, really, I mean, uh, mealy bugs, mealy bugs, mealy bugs. So we had a way lot more two weeks ago. So this is working and this is all I've been doing. This is my first day bringing out the, the little uh, citrus and neem spray. Same thing, just real quick. If I knock off a, a tomato or a fruit, it's better to knock off some fruit than to lose the whole plant. But as you can see, it's just hard enough to get those. Uh, a lot of times, I like that it kind of knocks the plant over because really they got a lot of them uh, under the leaves. So you look at that. This is where they like to be, all under the leaf. So, oh, that one just broke. Just broke I'm just showing my breaking much in the Oh. <laughs> but it'll probably still live. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Oop. Sorry. But you can see how easy it comes off. You can get in a little, come in a little closer on that one. So I can show in the bottom part right here. All right, so I'll show you how easy it comes off just like that and they're gone uh, without going to the store running for the neem oil and which neem oil works and which one doesn't uh, go ahead on and now the water didn't break that I did that myself Going outside. What I like to do when I come out is I just try to get as much as I can. Like some are still on here, but now I've, I've gotten control of it because the majority of them are gone. So, same thing here. Anywhere you see them, just spray them to the ground. That'll stop them from feeding, hopefully kind of disrupt their feeding cycle. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. And like I say, other than that, wait till they kind of dry off for the next day and start using a little oil application. But it's not really, really needed as long as you got some water, got one of these. Mostly all of your nozzles that they sell today come with all these little settings, but the little jet setting is probably gonna be your best out. So. I got a few more to do. Thank y'all for joining in with us today for our little quick pest tip. I spray I think with some water. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, thank y'all for watching the Grow Family Network. And as always, grow, grow, grow. Peace. Hold on.